again in the middle of the huddle in his 11th season as the Wisconsin head coach and the Badgers will start Jordan Taylor Josh Gosser Mike Bruzewitz Ryan Evans and Jared Bergren all three juniors so one senior a sophomore and three juniors Brandon Trish Coop Jardine Chris Joseph CJ Fair and uh, significantly Rakeem Christmas who is starting in place of the suspended Fab Mello Jim Beheim well, all he's done in his 36 seasons is win 889 games, and he's really happy about it. Oh, delightful to be around. The officiating crew tonight, Joseph DeRosa, David Hall, and Patrick Adams. This is only the third meeting ever between Wisconsin and Syracuse. They're split one and one. And the ball is in the hands of the Orange. Very Lundquist. Wisconsin Badgers go. I was kind of hoping Syracuse would not get the tip just to listen. Oh, Off the glass and good. Boy, Trish is so tough at the rim. A nice set play. Start the game with a pin down. Just great understanding of how to come off these screens, too. And I. This team moves the basketball. We talk about side to side. They use a high ball screen, a pin down, and look at this adjustment. A little kiss. Whew, not a bad start. And Trish misses the chance for the three-point play. So here comes Jordan Taylor. His number's down from last year, but he's playing his best here at the end of the season. Uh, I think they're down also because, you know, new players on the floor, they key on him, but they get it to late in the shot clock, Vern. Gosser comes left side to Taylor. Look how far the zone comes out. You're going to get that foul line entry and occasionally on the baseline. And that is uh, the first look at the famous Syracuse 2-3. Joseph, nice defensive job. Not in any particular hurry to bring it down. Here's Scoop Jardine. Little floater, yes. Pretty good start. Vern, I think easy baskets are going to be the key for Syracuse to keep control of the game. Wisconsin team that's comfortable on the offensive end going late into the shot clock, and they usually come up with big plays. I remember listening to Charles Barkley before this Wisconsin team played Vandy down in Albuquerque, and he said, it's going to be ugly, and the first team to 60 will win. That could be the case here. Right. Now that's the spot right there, and you go one-on-one -on -one and five. Back outside. Taylor, left side. Nice. nice. Beautiful entry pass. That is Bo Ryan at his best. Prodi, Proby, good pass, good catch and finish. Mike Bruzewitz gets the first Badger basket. Jardine from way outside. And the rebound in the hands of Ryan Evans, number five. This is one team you're going to take quick jacks against. Run your offense. Gosser looks inside for Evans. See, the big thing is the wing exchange. See how they go back waiters? That's the key. You get them up and go down or drive the gap on occasion. You talk about deep in the shot clock. It's now at five. Evans closely got guarded. It. Got it. That helps him quite a bit, doesn't it? Woo. Stepping up only 25% from deep. He likes to post up and beat you down there. Ryan Evans from beyond the arc and that's only his 10th made and the blocking foul is called on Bruzewitz. Bruzewitz a tough guy to move and Joseph looking to pro but excellent ball movement the little settle deep and this is what they're best at they are comfortable and why not a little start a little wingspan. Uh, CJ Fair will uh, inbound from the side. Again, Fab Mello suspended just before the start of the NCAA tournament, his second suspension of the year. Nice play by Taylor Vern with that slide down, protecting the basket. And they're going to do a little more of this trapping. Usually they'll trap on the below the foul line or on the baseline. Now it's Bergren prowling the free throw line. He's got the ball. And Christmas it makes, it makes it one on one then when they get it into the foul. It's the key is the guy who gets in there. I'd rather see Evans in there. Now Evans is out on the perimeter. 
That one picked off by C.J. Fair. Jardine wasn't ready for the pass. Lucky to get his hands up. Yeah, no run out either. Wisconsin, great balance. Don't that beat was themselves. A pass. Steph. Traveling. Now there's the charm. What do you say? <laughs> how about he opened up yesterday coming over and saying, how come they sent this to two oldest guys in the tournament? And I said to him, because we got the two oldest coaches in the tournament. There you are. Somebody you can relate to. 67 years of age for Beheim, 64 for Bo Ryan. Rob Wilson off the bench now. And Rob is stepping up at the right time of year, late in his career. Big night, 30 points early in the year. This is the spot. They can do some damage. Back outside. Here's Taylor. Jumper. Long rebound in the hands of Trish for the Orange. And once again, great balance. Pull up for three. Yes. That kid is confident. He is a gamer. People at the rim, not afraid, not a bear, still with the delivery. Brandon Trish has had a quiet two tournament games so far. Four points against Kansas State and nine in the opener. That narrow escape against UNC Asheville. But he's off to a quick start here. Here's Evans. Got to go opposite with that. They had an open Gosser on the other side. Turnaround jumper, yes. Not too bad, huh? They know how to play now. This is a solid, well-coached team. Pick you apart with their execution. Jared Bergman with the basket, and we are tied at seven. C.J. Fair, he's had shooting problems, and now he's got traveling problems. Turnover, tied at seven. 15, 20 to go, that basket, Brandon Trish. Stop improving. When a screen becomes this good, colors are more vibrant. Words are pin sharp. Everything is more brilliant. Because when a screen becomes this good, it's simply you and the things you care about. The stunning retina display on the new iPad. Always have to take your mom's car. The security of a Tiguan, one of nine Volkswagen models named the 2012 IIHS top safety pick. He's not only the best tennis player in the world, he's the most entertaining. Novak Djokovic's amazing life story, Sunday on 60 Minutes. The amazing race teams travel to the land of fire and find themselves underwater. A new Amazing Race, CBS Sunday. We are back in Boston, and please say hello to the third member of our crew. Here's Leslie Bissell. Uh, thanks, Vern. Well, you and Billy have been talking about the two guards, Scoop Jardine and Jordan Taylor. They actually roomed together at an all-star camp last summer in Illinois. Scoop said they got along great. Jordan said, we have the same feelings tonight. We both want to get to the Final Four, but I think that Scoop is a little more outspoken. Outspoken? Scoop told me, look, I didn't know the guy, so when we got to the room and he went to the men's room, I kind of looked through his bag. Vern? 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> that thing's sacred. <laughs> Oh, I don't know whether that's too much information or I'm shocked that he told me. Here we go, Gosser back outside. Well, that's the spot because they're stretching out on the three-point shooters. Here's Gosser, number 21. Sophomore out of Port Washington, Wisconsin. Into the corner quickly. There's the trap. Yes, indeed. They've got Evans. The timeout. They've got to be ready. It's got to be a quick decision when you get in the corner. Drive to the Hooper, find your partner on a dime. Open up Pizza Hut's new $10 dinner box. All your favorites, all in one place. A medium one-topping pizza, freshly baked breadsticks and cinnamon sticks, plus marinara and sweet icing for dipping. Best of all, the $10 dinner box is only 10 bucks and only at your Pizza Hut. When you have cable and can't find something good to watch, you get depressed. When you get depressed, you attend seminars. When you attend seminars, you feel like a winner. When you feel like a winner, you go to Vegas. When you go to Vegas, you lose everything. And when you lose everything, you sell your hair to a wig shop. Don't sell your hair to a wig shop. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. they want everything <laughs> Speech, right? <gasps> May I? <laughs> Capital One is issuing a venture double miles challenge. Show us how much you spent last year. It will give you two miles for every dollar spent on your travel reward card, up to a hundred thousand miles. Hawaii, here we come. Claim your miles at CapitalOne.com today. What's in your wallet? Can you play games on that? Not on the runway. Oh. Aggressive new style, a more fuel-efficient turbocharged engine, and a completely redesigned interior. The new C-Class, with over 2,000 refinements. It's amazing, inside and out. The C-Class starts at just 34,800. Bird, the key thing is the kickoff and the trade here. This guy's got to dive, and the, uh, the don't make a quick decision. And Evans on the baseline, pretty good. He should be driving it real hard. You can see the coverage and, of course, the trap. And I know Bo has seen this, but it's how the players react to the size and the ability to close those feet and don't let a guy step through. Well, two subs now during the timeout. Dion Waiters, the topic of our uh, game open conversation, is on the floor. Wearing number three, and James Sutherland, number 43. Here's the long jumper. That's good. But, but again, that kid can step out with the best and him, part of the three-point shooting brigade. Well, that's another topic we covered in the open. And there's the kick out, and the jumper short. Forward in the hands of Josh Gosser. No numbers here. They will push it, but they will not be reckless once they push it. Taylor. Bergman again. Not this time. Evans with the offensive board. And a foul, too. Well, you can't give them offensive rebounding. Watch every game on the road of the Final Four live on your computer, iPhone, iPad, and select Android phones with NCAA March Madness Live. Get more information at NCAA.com slash March Madness. Gosser is out. The foul was on Waiters. That's his first first team foul. And Gosser will have a little conversation over on the bench with his head coach, Bo Ryan. It's usually one sided, by the way. Yeah, it's a monologue. Yeah. Now, the key thing is to rebound for Syracuse. Uh, you can't give this team a second chance. They're going to milk it for another 30 or on the defensive end for 60 or a minute. 
That's Wilson. Had a career high of 30 points in the Big Ten tournament against Indiana. 30. His average coming in was 2.9 per game. Nice feed. Nice Beautiful. That's great deployment. And Bruzewicz, who can step up, make threes with a terrific look. Simple bounce pass and a finish. Seven unanswered for the Badgers. Waiters. Tough shot. Here comes Wisconsin again. Ooh. Oops. Ooh, Brizwitz wasn't quite ready for it. Okay, they've done an excellent job getting it to spots other than the trap on the baseline. In and out. Rebound Sutherland. Young man who has had 15 points in each of the first two tournament wins. That narrow victory over UNC Asheville and then the more convincing win over Kansas State. I beg your pardon. A nice little job there, breaking your guy down. Joseph, he's got to step it up on the offensive end, can put it on the deck as well. You could play at this speed, by the way. <laughs> this would be right up your alley. Yeah. Nobody in there. Yeah, you, right. you don't get gassed. They are patient, aren't they? They, they? Well, it, it, they really understand their, the fundamental, look at this, should have taken it. The fundamentals of the game they work on every day. Jumper, Bergren, nice pop out. Foul line entry, not available. Step out where they've really got the zone moving around and not communicating very well. Already in double figures is Bergren. He's a perfect four of four. And he has 10 points, waiters. And a foul is called on Bergen, who thought he was going to get a hell ball call. Uh, the understanding of where you, your guys are located. Nice job by Taylor Jordan with that release. And Bergen stepping out. And he's right. He got all basketball on that particular play. Bo Ryan, I don't think he wanted to go to Frank Kaminsky this early in the game, but he's about to. As Bergen, with 10 points, is going to have to sit with his second foul and 12.03 to go first half. With the top dramas and comedies on television, CBS is America's most watched network. So there goes Bergeron to the bench. Two fouls, 10 points. Uh, such a factor for this team, and Bo's still chatting on the other side. He can get away with that Chester accent. They're not sure what he's saying. Uh, Bo Ryan, Chester, Pennsylvania and Wilkes College, where he was a star point guard. And I believe he played fairly Dickinson when you were coaching. Fairly Dickinson, Madison. I said, I don't want to offend you, Bo, but I don't remember you. Now, that doesn't mean he wasn't good at, uh, it, maybe my memory's bad. Well, because my partner's so self-deprecating, I'll tell you that Fairly Dickinson won the three games in which Ryan played. Just a couple of years. He's ago. probably stolen a lot of my drills, I'm sure. <laughs> A nice job again defensively. Yes, Trish gets over. Kick out. Spot up three. Bruzewitz, no. He made one against Montana, did Bruzewitz. And that ended a streak of 19 in a row without a made three. Here's Sutherland. Boy, he's been hot. Not this one. Can't leave him alone. That's what Fair does best. Really a good offensive rebounder. And that's where they, if they take good shots, they can get rebounds for him. 11 14 to go, first half. And the Badgers up by four. Miller Time. You won't find it on any clock or specific time zone. Miller Time isn't so much about when as it is about who. It's about the friends you go to bat for, the ones who'll be there when they say they will. Even if being there means crossing state lines with no questions asked. Because guys that leave nobody behind deserve a beer that leaves no taste behind. And with great friends and a great tasting light beer, it's not just a good time, it's Miller time. The walls of Tartarus are falling. It is emptying all of the demons onto the earth. Let's have some fun. Power, power diminishes. Cronus himself will escape. Wrath of the Titans. Rated PG-13. Experience it in IMAX 3D March 30th.
Last year, Taco Bell released the Taco Supreme with a shell made of real nacho cheese Doritos in a few cities, none of which were anywhere near the hometown of Nat Cristiana. So, Nat drove his friends 965 miles to get it. Well played, Nat. The new Doritos Locos Tacos. Now in Taco Bells everywhere. Sometimes you gotta live mas. It's March. It's time to play ball. It's a time for upsets and comebacks and miracles. It's when you go with the favorites, but fall in love with Cinderella. It's March. It's time to bring the crazy. Best Buy is here to help you find your perfect TV. And with our perfect match promise, if it's not your perfect match, we'll pick it up and take it back for free. Plus, with the purchase of select LG TVs, you'll get a free sound bar, the space-saving way to get even bigger sound. Do March right at Best Buy. To hold a patent that has changed the modern world would define you as an innovator. To hold more than one patent of this caliber would define you as a true leader. To hold over 80,000, well, that would make you the creators of the 2012 Mercedes-Benz E-Class. Quite possibly the most advanced luxury sedan ever, starting at 50,490. We're back in Boston, and it's time for Powerade powering through. Jared Bergman off to a great offensive start, but unfortunately for the Badgers, he has picked up two fouls, and so has taken a seat on the bench. There's Bergman, and now he has been joined by Bruzewitz. Two players on the bench with two fouls each inside of a minute. I know they're not related, but you could call them the Bruce brothers. They are big kids. And they have been solid with the basketball in Wisconsin. One turnover, uh, good deployment, really searching and probing and doing an excellent job. Well, C.J. Fair, that one's out of bounds. And Chris Joseph is coming back on the floor now, and Sutherland will uh, head to the Syracuse bench. And, and Jimmy is going to press a little bit, maybe on free throws on occasion, right near a dead ball situation, just trying to generate and cause another timeout. A nice pull, and that's why he's won so many games. Little change of pace. Mm -hmm. Hey, Eddie, where's she going now? Looks like the dry cleaner. Dry cleaner. The dry cleaner. Dry cleaner. The all-new Buick Verano gives you Pandora music streaming. You guys are on. <laughs> it started with the wind. So your music goes wherever you go. It's unexpected luxury in a car this size. I can't believe she's listening to that noise. The Orange got off to a 20 to nothing start, 20-0, best in school history. They get a lot of production off the bench. And starting center Fab Mello suspended twice this year. First in the middle of the season when Jim Beheim's team went to Notre Dame in Big East play and lost. That made them 20 and 1. And then just before the tournament, they lost uh, Fab Mello. We were told the initial suspension for academic difficulties. We were not told what the reason was for the latest, but he is not playing. That's part of a very tumultuous year for the Syracuse Orange team. Now it's uh, Taylor. You mentioned the one turnover. They are second in the country in least fewest rather turnovers per game. That shot is short by Evans. Well, they've done a great job to get the jump ball out of that, finding people and being in the right spot. 8.9. I think Purdue's the only one lower. Right? That's right. So. And they led the country in uh, fewest turnovers each of the last two years. Now they love to trap that corner. Good, quick ball movement. Uh, just under 10 minutes to go, and over on TBS. In 10 minutes, uh, yes. as you said, you'll hear Louisville, you'll watch Louisville, and the top seed out west, Michigan State. And Ryan Evans with that pull up, that's his game. Very good with his back to the basket as well. Trish. Six point Wisconsin lead. They play such a good defense, they make you use clock as well. They're going to get some driving involved, particularly Trish and Waiters. Nice. He's tough, isn't he? Smooth, under control. Boy, and a body, too. He's a stud. Uncle Howard Trish was a star at this Syracuse team. 
few years back. Trish has seven points. Under 10 now. Howard didn't have his pull-up game, though. No. Nope. He was an up-front kid, good player. But they drag the D open for drives. Number 44 on the floor is Frank Kaminsky, the 6'11 freshman. Down on the baseline right now. Four on the shot clock. Gosser, better hurry. You got it with a shot clock. Seven tenths left. Well, what do you got in your arsenal for point seven? Well, the, the perfect thing is the lob. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't have much in my arsenal. That's why I'm with you. <laughs> He'll have something. They can get a corner jumper, catch and shoot. Ben Brust, who's a three-point specialist, mm -hmm. is on number one now. We'll go deep to Jordan or Brust. Shot clock violation. Waiters. Taylor is back. Pretty. What a spin move. Wow. Look at the and hustle. Trish is he, there for the putback. He does a lot of little things for his team. Never gave up on the play. Waiters with a great maneuver. Terrific. That full-speed footwork. And the orange pull within two. Here's Brust, number one. Remember the two bigs for Wisconsin on the bench. Bruzewitz and Bergeron, each with two fouls. It's a lot of pressure on the outside people. Kaminsky with a nice cut on the baseline. Jumper Taylor. This is where they're at their best. They're not getting rebound and runouts, though. Dion Waiters, number three, pull-up jumper. Mm -hmm. And the lead. Gates out with a great screen to set it up. Talk about strength and confidence. I feel like we're at the dome. Yeah. Good. It is a predominantly orange clad crowd, of course. They draw regularly. Their average per uh, per game at home is 28,000. A nice There's giveaway. A foul underneath. Well, the yes. early offense with the screen, Vern, is just so successful. You see that little bump? All of a sudden, where just gets that good, clean look, a little nylon out of Philly. And Kaminsky is going to the line now. Only his 13th trip to the line this year. He's now 7 of 13, coming Sunday, April 15th. A new police drama from Robert De Niro and Jane Rosenthal. NYC 2-2 only. CBS. That's what kills you. If you don't get those, a lot of clock goes away. That was Rob Wilson with the rebound. He can make them. Yes, he can. He's tough, Ben Bros. 38. We saw that on the open. Tough kid. That really stretches the perimeter D of, as well of Syracuse. Nice Waiters curl. off the curl. C.J. Fair. Trish. Nice hustle. Wilson tracks it down. Here come the Badgers now reestablished in the lead at 20 to 18. And Gosser's getting ready to come back for Bo Ryan's club. The Trish and Waiters really have to hug the two perimeter guys, which opens it up for Evans and others. But they can make quick decisions with a flash. And down to 10 already. Good cross court. Rust, wide open look. Big rebound. Wow. He got up large. This was in here doing a terrific job with that mellow. Steps, good call. Another turnover, that's four for Syracuse. How about the ball movement? Get those puppies organized, Benjamin. Rest at home. It's so nice to spend time, just you and me. I know. This is great. No, I feel like... Did you just check the game on your phone? What? No. What am I, like some kind of summoner who can just summon footage to his phone like that? Come on. I guess I'm just a little oh. oversensitive. It's just that you and yes. I. Yes. Only AT&T's network lets your iPhone download three times faster. AT&T.
Every day, millions of people choose to do the right thing. There's an insurance company that does that too. Liberty Mutual Insurance. Responsibility. What's your policy? At a big company, new ideas don't usually come from the local store level, but a great idea can come from anywhere. I'm Brian Edler, and I created the new Domino's Parmesan Bread Bites. They're freshly baked pieces of bread with garlic and Parmesan. The test kitchens, the Domino's haven't come up with this, but the guy in Finley, Ohio did. That's what's awesome about this. You know, I think Brian should be the CEO of Domino's. <laughs> no. Get 16 Parmesan Bread Bites for just a dollar when you order two medium two-topping pizzas for $5.99 each. Share your ideas at thinkoven.com. We imagined a vehicle that could adapt to changing road conditions. One that continually monitors and corrects for wheel slip. We imagined a vehicle that can increase emergency braking power when you need it most. And we imagined it looking like nothing else on the road today. Then, we built it. The 2012 GLK. See your authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer for exceptional offers through Mercedes-Benz Financial Services. African Americans have a much higher risk of stroke than any other ethnic group and are much more likely to die as a result. Learn how you can reduce your risk. Coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament is sponsored by Liberty Mutual Insurance. Best Buy. And by AT&T. Seven oh six to go first half. Wisconsin up by two thus far. Four of eight from two point range and four of eight from three for the Badgers. Seven assists and Bergman on the bench with ten points. Trish has nine for Syracuse. Good to be back here. We were here in 2003 when the Orange and Jim Beheim began their climb to the national championship. They defeated Manhattan and Oklahoma State here. Ultimately wound up. There's a foul on Waiters, I believe, that's Trish. And that's his second. Well, that's the advantage they have. They can rotate people. Scoop Jardine comes in right now. You, know, you watch Wisconsin, they were prepared for the press that time. They had those three losses in a row in the middle of the season. I think it was Iowa, Michigan State, Michigan. And Andy North, the famous U.S. Open champion, was telling us at practice the fundamentals were the same. He does not change anything. And look at this. Nice slide. Kaminsky and a good look. Evans. Too strong. Joseph. Here comes Jardine. Gosser is back. Dion Waiters takes nice. it. Nice. Oh, and CJ Fair almost wow. traveled. He slipped. Pretty good control. Jardine. Scoop to the hoop. Beautiful. A little Philly delight. Scoop Jardine and Dion Waiters, both young men from Philadelphia. And here is Jordan Taylor. There's so much good competition in practice. This Syracuse team, they're so deep at all spots. So this leads to better overall play. Wisconsin just has to hold it together, Vern, without the two bigs with the two fouls. Nice. Give it up. Another turnover, three on one. Dish there. First one. First one. First time. Turnovers to goals. That's the recipe for the Cuse and Jimmy B. That is the third Wisconsin turnover. And again, the orange clad fans are up. Oh, that boy. Quiet them. How about that? That's what happens when you got an experienced hand that's been down the road, plays with a lot of confidence. They say he has charisma on and off the floor. Terrific delivery by Jordan Taylor. He knew the moment. There, yes. He's got to play well. And off his game of late means too much to this team. Yeah, he started the last four, and he's 2 of 17 coming into this game. Really, uh, and in the two NCAA tournament games, Fair was 1 of 10. Here's Bust. Gosser. Oh, Fair gets back. The entry lanes are open because of the stretch covering the threes. Kaminsky was all by himself underneath the basket. The length negates that, though. They take away vision. Two on a shot clock. Off the front rim, and here comes Syracuse Dion Waiters. 
Joseph to his left. A little floater, got it. He plays with such confidence. Knows how to break it down with the shake move and delivers the floater. 425 to go first half. And trading off a little bit better on the wings to cover the, the back line as well as the wing. Shot clock at five again. Entry pass. Back outside, two. Here's the release at the buzzer. And Scoop Jardine has it for Syracuse. Well, that zone really has its impact. Fair jumper, big basket. That's the one he wasn't making. He's a great 12-foot shooter, which is really a tough distance. Largest lead of the game is five for Syracuse. Kaminsky. So that's the problem. Different guys have to make a decision. Some aren't capable of it. Off the rim, here comes Jardine. Dion Waiters. Boy, nice patience. Waits for the screen. Look at that one. It came down wet. Recognize no. that big fella? No church league for that guy. Derek that Coleman. Great, great player at Syracuse and a proud alum and a very active participant in the school. He's very vocal, isn't he? I like Evans on the foul line more than anybody else as a decision maker. Minsky may be the finisher underneath. They attempt the entry pass, another turnover. That's four for Wisconsin. We're just trying to get to the half, really, Vern. Without their two bigs. Jardine! You could lose the game right now. That's the danger sometimes. It's a gamble. Keeping those two bigs out. Christmas getting ready to come back. So is Trish. Got to get into the lanes a little bit with the dribble at some point. Get two to play you. Evans, Kaminsky. Jumper baseline, again too strong. Well, they got them rattled. Cheetah with a nice job on the glass again. Syracuse has hit its last seven shots. Anything with the screen. The difficulty to play all of them. The guards pull up, play with confidence, and know how to drill them in big moments. I think about the future every morning when I wake up. I care about my car because I think it's a cool car. I, I just I think it's stylish and it makes a statement at the same time. And I've never had a car like that. People don't totally understand how the Volt works. When the battery runs down, the gas engine operates. I don't ever worry about running out of battery power because it just switches over to my gas engine. I very rarely put gas in my Chevy Volt. I love the Chevy Volt, and I've never loved a car. Looks like there's an opening for shipping coordinator, and I've got to pick someone. Tough decision. OK, you could be a rising star or but you just ordered a crispy McChicken and a fresh brewed sweet tea for only a buck each off McDonald's dollar menu. So you're smart, right? Yeah, I got nothing. Smart man. Two sevens. Oh, wow. The box strikes the again. The box strikes again. He's always strikes. The simple joy of being smart. It's a problem as old as gaming itself. Stay home and just keep playing. Or get to work on time so your coffee breath boss doesn't ride you like a rented scooter. Who says you have to choose? Your PS3 stays home, but the game goes with you. Never stop playing. PlayStation Vita. At Transamerica, we are the tomorrow makers. We're making tomorrows like clockwork. For all the different things our customers planned for, like a college education, 
or the perfect wedding. We're making them a better financial future. What can we make with you? Transamerica. Transform tomorrow. This AT&T 4G network is fast. Hey, heard any updates on the game? I think it's final seconds. Ooh, down by two, shoots a three. Game over. So two seconds ago. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Harris, where's Kevin? Say hi, Kevin. Hi. Uh, Mom, put me down. Put the phone down. Hey, guys, did you hear? The Choice had their baby? So 29 seconds ago. Well, we should get them a gift. Thanks, Thanks for, for the, the gift. gift. You're welcome. You're welcome. Get it fast with AT&T, the nation's largest 4G network. AT&T. <laughs> Greg Gumbel in New York with a tournament update for you. In Phoenix, the guys here say Draymond Green will be the difference. He hits this short jump shot for two. And Michigan State with the early lead on Louisville back to Vern and Raft. All right, Greg, thank you. Michigan State defeated this Wisconsin team and uh, taking on Louisville. Marquette, Florida in the second game out there. And uh, back on the floor now, having sat for almost nine minutes is Mike Bruzewitz. Bergeron still on the floor with two fouls. Now, Bose have been around. They can lose the game in these last couple of minutes by not playing one of them. And Yo-Yo, we got the foul going the other way, I believe, for I Christmas. I think they got Christmas shoving off. Oh. Seldom do you say anything bad about Christmas. <laughs> they finally recognize. Yes. That took a little while to define. Rakeem Christmas, number 25. So it is an offensive foul. Wisconsin has it. He has played well, though, in the absence of Fab Mello. Very well. Know? And his rebounding has been the key, too. I think with Mello, he went to block shots a lot, and they didn't rebound. I think they've got to drive gaps now through Wisconsin. K-State did a good job on that. They drive the middle and attack those inside people. You can't settle deep all the time. These are 25, 27-foot shots. Taylor back outside to Gosser. And they're chow. Nice play. Nice. There. Evans. And then he misses the shot, but gets his own rebound. Misses again. And here comes Syracuse. And that's what the bigs do to you, though. Hurry, change. Trish misses this one. That's a rare miss tonight. Pretty good challenge on the jumper, though. Had a double clutch. One minute to go, first half. Look at Bruce was begging in there. He really wants it to make a decision. They got the overload they want. Evans. Final 47 seconds. Look at the way they closed that thing. Coming up on AT&T at the half, Greg, Greg, Kenny, and Charlie. Charlie will take you out for a live look at Louisville and Michigan State on TBS. Plus the latest NCAA tournament news. That's all coming up on AT&T after that. I didn't realize you were that close with Charles. Well, you know, Charlie, Chuck, Greg, Greg, Gregory, for those who don't know. Look at this coverage again. They get it off. Again, the shot clock. Oh, yeah. They got a foul. No, they got a foul on the jumper. A nice play by Brust. I think he gets three, Vern. Yep. Closing out. You see this so often where you don't go past the guy. You've got to go with that kind of an angle. Don't go right at him. A terrific defensive sequence negated. Got to stay in it focus. And Gosser, who was a 78% free throw shooter, will have a chance for three. Wow. That's the second foul on Christmas. Deion Waiters getting ready to come back on the floor for Syracuse. Gosser, two more. And, and for, this is key, I think, because you can put yourself back in. If it's around 10, you've got your big guys with no foul problems coming down the stretch. And right now, Bruzewicz has to be careful on the floor. Even if it means a basket, do not foul. Gosser, the sophomore, shoots one more. Those are the first Badger points in the last five and a half minutes. And they got perimeter guys who all can drill it here. In the short corner with Fair, who's got that 12-foot jumper. And Jimmy wants to time out. And so the timeout taken with 15.3 to go first half. Shoot. 
Jim Beheim in quest of his 890th win at Syracuse, plotting the strategy here for the final 15.3 seconds of the first half. Now this will be a dribble drive, maybe a run out ball screen, but they got ample people on the wing, and if you don't contain the bounce, they're gonna find somebody for a three. Trayvon Jackson has come on the floor for Wisconsin. Waiters can get a jumper, I think. Gosh, a little shorter than him. Oh, nice hand. Oh, great. Gosser got the tip. Three on one. Off the big, pass and good. Big play. A lot of confidence with that defensive play. Solid. The it two was guards. Josh Gosser who got the tip. Two guards collaborated on that beautifully. At the beginning, you can just see, you leave your feet, usually you're doomed. And right here, nice patience, making sure he doesn't overcommit early on scoop. And let's check in with Leslie Visser. Jim, you just said coming off worst play you've ever seen. No, no it's great half. We had a great half, tremendous half. Wisconsin's a great, great team, and we played as good as we can play on offense and defense. We just got to do the same thing for 20 more minutes, and we'll be all right. Thank you. Know, you face. Oh, thanks, Jim. All right. Thank you. I think he was a little anxious to get uh, <laughs> inside. He and Leslie are old friends. I know. That's the end of the half, 33-21. You're watching the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. You can choose to take your chances, or you can choose the only luxury crossover in the world that can sense what's behind you even when you can't, and can apply the brakes even before you do. Introducing the all-new Infinity JX, the backup collision intervention system. Infinity, inspired performance. You want madness? I got to know! Check out CBS Monday. <laughs> when it comes to cuckoo, <laughs> we take the cake. Thank God I'm still in the loony bin. You'd have to be crazy. 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 To miss it. Did the fingernails gross you out? Catch Monday Madness, only CBS. Well, the green jacket means you're part of history. You're some of the greatest players that have ever played the game have won this event. The crowds are getting bigger at Toyota's number one for everyone sales event. People know it's a great time to save on our best-selling cars, like Camry, the number one selling car in America, and Corolla, a 2012 IIHS top safety pick. Come check out all our amazing deals today. Everyone else is. Including the newest member of the Prius family, the all-new Prius V, the bigger one. Get this 2011 Prius at 50 MPG with 2.9 financing or lease one for just $2.99 a month. Hurry in. It's the one event you don't want to miss. Skyhook! <laughs> Guys, check it out. Household leech. No, yeah. No, it look good. I know, right? I'll tell you what saves gas money. My kids hitchhiking to school. Great call. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Don't lift with your knees. Lift with your back. Feel a difference? Yeah. You know where surgery's dirt cheap? So Verizon 4G LTE is like six times bigger, but I'm going AT&T. There are good ideas and bad. With over six times the 4G LTE coverage, Verizon is the good idea. We're talking trucks in Northeast Ohio. Let's talk F-150. Oh, they're great. They've been the best selling trucks for 35 years now. Always got the comfort, a lot of power, good looks, good on fuel economy. I've always been loyal to them. We've owned a lot of them. I'll always stick with Ford. The auto show is over, but $1,000 bonus cash is still here. Now lease a built Ford Tough F-150 STX for $239 a month. It always is there when you want it and you need it, and it's a great work truck. They're the best. AT&T at the half is sponsored by AT&T, the nation's largest 4G network. We think possible. Hi, everyone. I'm Greg Gumbel. Welcome to AT&T at the half and at the break in Boston. It is Syracuse leading Wisconsin by a score of 33 to 27. I'm joined by Greg Anthony, Kenny Smith, Charles Barkley. As we look at these first half highlights, we we'll always look back and, and figure out if we have seen what we expected to see. Well, for the most part, tempo-wise, a, a slower pace game, which most would say favors Wisconsin. But Syracuse in the Big East, they'll see a lot of games like this. Because of that zone, they don't allow you you 
to have those runouts to begin with. So they're going to be comfortable learning how to make the adjustments. And defensively, they're as good as anybody at turning your mistakes into transition opportunities in the open floor. And I was really impressed well, after that first five-minute stretch with their overall ball movement and their ability of the guards to really get in the pick and roll and create matchup problems for Wisconsin. Really impressive first half for the most part for Syracuse. Give Wisconsin a little credit. They were down and were in danger of being blown away in this game. Well, not having Bruiser was. They picked up their front line. Their two big guys picked up a couple fouls there early, and then so Coach Bo Ryan decided to go to the bench. And when you think about Syracuse's defense, it's like a fine wine. It just gets better with time. And by that, I mean once they've seen what you do for a few possessions, then they make the adjustments. And Bo Ryan cannot replicate the size, the athleticism, and the anticipation there by C.J. Fair. You know, you think guys are open, and you go to make a simple pass, and all of a sudden there's a white jersey in front of you. Here they collapse really well. Just the instincts defensively, they're one of the few teams that really use their defense to attack you and then turn those attack opportunities into transition opportunities. What did you see in the first half, Kenny? Well, I, I just thought it went, was going to come down to the fact that Syracuse guards – they can be patient, and at the same time, they can be explosive. And it's different when you want me to take a shot, but that's actually a shot I'm trying to take. And this is Deion Waiters. You think this is a tough shot for him, but that was the shot he was looking for. And the same thing here with Scoop Gardeen. You said, we want you to take that quick, off-the-bounce jump shot, but that's the shot he's looking for. So when you're forcing me to do something that I really want to do, I'm not as, un as uncomfortable as you might think I am, and I think that's the difference in Syracuse playing Wisconsin. You basically say thank you. Uh, Without question. You know, Syracuse uh, played pretty well, but I don't think Wisconsin played as well. First of all, when they got their two big guys in trouble, it kind of took away from their game plan. But if you look at every play these guys just showed, it was off a of turnover. So they turned their turnovers into fast breaks. They got the pace they want. They're getting a good shot every time. They're, if you notice, they're really milking the shot clock. They want to make it a low-scoring game, low-possession game, which it does favor Wisconsin because it takes the talent out the game to a certain degree. If they can make a couple shots, keep those big guys in the game, uh, get a good shot every time. I, I think they're in great shape in this game. You know, one other thing, too, about that zone, we talked about this last week. The biggest advantage, one of them for Jim Beheim, is his guys never get in foul trouble. So now they can even become more aggressive defensively. I think you'll see them start to extend their pressure a little bit because Wisconsin's guards are not great creators or facilitators. They really do rely on their ability to beat you with the pass. Right now it's a six-point lead for Syracuse. Meanwhile, over on TBS, Louisville and Michigan State, this has not been a clinic. These teams combined to start the game three for 22 from the field. And we were talking about the two great coaches are in this game, and they wanted to find uh, some the, place to run off. Yeah, I was going to say the coaches aren't playing, obviously, in this game yeah, right but, now but, with but, the way they're so shooting. So rebounding heaven. The one thing we <laughs> talked about, you know, Louisville, they, everything's dictated on turnovers and how many shots they're able to make. And if they're not shooting the ball well and they're not turning you over, it's going to be sloppy. We knew it was going to be. Both of these teams play great defense. But I thought, uh, I thought the guy would, would come down to Michigan State beating them down a little bit inside. And, you know, Michigan State right now, what I, I, I say they play a soft zone in certain areas. I mean, soft man-to-man -man in certain areas. They'll, they'll back up off of two or three guys on the Louisville team and dare them to shoot. But at the same time, they don't shoot. So, you know, if you, only, you look at Siva and Russ Smith, those are the only two guys in the backcourt that are going to look for basket opportunities. But everyone else is kind of real selective in their shot opportunities, and that really helps and plays in the Michigan State's hands. You are looking at this game now live as it is appears on TBS, and, and I know it's early yet, but does the score surprise you at all? No, not at all. Because, again, these teams haven't seen each other. Both really good defensively, and obviously you can see some tentativeness on the offensive end. But, you know what, listen, this is a huge game for both sides. Sweet 16 with an opportunity to go to a regional final but early on Louisville looks to be a little bit more comfortable okay that's 14 to 9 right now we'll take a time out and we will come back with more from New York in just a moment ladies and gentlemen our guitar player is sick but don't worry we found a replacement Mr. Peter Frampton hello Dale's Roadhouse <laughs> Unexpected pleasures are the best part of life. Why not drive one every day? Introducing the all-new Verano. It's unexpected and unprecedented luxury for a car this size. Nice. The all-new Verano from Buick. Even though we've been to six Final Fours, I never feel comfortable in March. 
You don't sleep. You worry about everything. You realize just one wrong play, and it's win or go home. The thought that a school of 3,000 can beat one of 60,000, the David and Goliath matchups. Even though I'm nervous, March to me is the greatest month of the year. I love March. My name is Tom Izzo, and I'm definitely comfortable in my own skin. Thanks for the ticket, man. Thanks to my state farm agent for saving me 480 bucks. No sweat. Hey, look, we're on fan cam. Uh, Y'all ready for this? Having the extra cash sure helps. And I can save even more by combining your auto and renter's policies. Cool. But well, what if we bought a house? Auto and home? We have even bigger savings for that. Wow, sounds good. More savings any way you shake it. Want to spend some nachos? Sure. Get to a better state. State Farm. Division I student athletes have higher SAT and ACT scores than college bound students. The number of us receiving diplomas is at an all time high. African American males who are student athletes are 10% more likely to graduate. Still think we're just a bunch of dumb jocks? You need to do your homework. There are over 400,000 NCAA student athletes, and just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. Welcome back. We're on to the Sweet 16. My question to the panel, will there be a Cinderella this year? No. I don't no. think so, no, because no. no. we don't no. own any glass slippers. Right. Actually, it's weird because well, why on earth did they call them slippers? Because they're not slippers. Yes, they're not they're slippers. High they're high heels. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. they're high heel shoes. So is, and is that the reason why we won't have a Cinderella story? No. no, what, okay, now what's the reason we won't have a Cinderella? Welcome back to AT&T at the half, everyone. We are pleased now to be joined live from Atlanta, Georgia, by VCU head coach Shaka Smart. Shaka, thank you for your time. And, and I know this isn't news to you, but almost every basketball expert had you pegged for the job at the University of Illinois. Uh, and obviously that didn't happen. What was your whole thought process going through uh, your decision there? You know, you're the first person all week to ask me that question. <laughs> uh, it, it, it came down to the, the fact that, that I love it at VCU. My, my family's really, really happy in the city of Richmond. We have a great group of guys. We have some of the best fans in the country. And it's just a great situation. Uh, a coach told me a long time ago, don't run away from happiness. And, and that's what we have at VCU. Shaka, it's a credit to you the fact that you haven't gone on to try to chase the grass, which oftentimes isn't much greener. L let's talk about your team this season. You guys got off to a little bit of a slow start, but you came on like gangbusters. Uh, I know Bradford Burgess had a solid season for you. What are the prospects moving forward next year? I I've heard you've got a great recruiting class in. Let's talk about your team for next season. Well, we only lose one player, Greg, and that's Bradford Burgess, our do-it-all senior. He's going to be tough to replace, but we do have nine of our top ten players coming back, so we're excited about next year. We actually add three terrific high school players, one of them being Bradford's younger brother, Jordan Burgess, who's a mirror image. He's just a little bit meaner and tougher than Brad, so we're excited about the future of VCU. You know, Shaka, I think you guys have become the Gonzaga of the East Coast, where you start out, quote-unquote, you're a mid-major. Now Gonzaga's in the national picture all the time, and now the last couple of years, and now you're recruiting on the national level. Do you feel like that a little bit? I don't think we're to the level that Gonzaga's at yet. They, I think they've played in their championship game something ridiculous, like 14 times in a row, their league tournament. But... You know, we're working towards that. We have some other very, very good teams in our league. I think the best thing, Chuck, is that we're gaining more and more respect as a league and, and certainly as a basketball program, and that's what you need. And, you know, I'll, I wanted to ask you, Charles, all, all this talk about jobs, the one I really want is that, that Wade Rogers, uh, you know, job that you got. Bro, let me tell you something. You, it's listen, like you need to gain some of the weight I'm losing. <laughs> I, can't, hey, I can't believe they're paying me to lose How is weight. It? This is the greatest country in the world. We still waiting on you to start losing it. How's that going, <laughs> Chuck? It's going very well. Very, <laughs> hey, listen, I'm going to keep losing as long as they keep paying me. <laughs> hey, Shaka, thank you so much. Listen, for I, I just, I need a commitment from you. I need a commitment from you, Charles, that you'll come back to VCU and play some golf. You know, I've been there a lot of years in a row. Just let me know. I'm, you know me. I'm Mr. Fairway. Beautiful spring night here in Boston where Syracuse leads by six. Wisconsin did score the last four points of the first half. 
Let's take a look behind the stats presented by LG. And the most noticeable uh, lines are the top two, Bergeron and Brusewitz. They got to feel fortunate, I think. Circus uh, had a great run and a uh, little fumbleitis at the end there to have. And a moment ago, Leslie Visser had a chance to chat with Badger head coach Bo Ryan. Coach, you'll get your two big men back, but what did you stress at halftime? Well, you know, we had we had stuff working. We, we were we were doing some things that um, that we had to do to put us in position. Then when those guys got in foul trouble, that that's part of the game, though. You have to be able to do things without them. But now they'll get a chance to get back on the court. But we got to make up the deficit now. And sometimes it's not as easy as it looks against against a team like Syracuse. Excellent. Thank you, Coach. All right, all right Bo and Leslie, we're not going to give up that on camera time at all. What do you think? <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, he's right, though. I think he, he's fortunate that they made that little run in without the big guys. But they got him back now, and they were deploying beautifully. How about Syracuse highlights in the first half? Well, the, you, you, when they get going pretty good on the offensive end on their breakouts, they are very tough. Uh, Waiters, a guy that can get down the floor fair with the ability to jam it this time. Waiters, and then the run out here. Great hustle by Trish at the end for the miss. Uh, right now, Wisconsin, they got to feel awfully good. Uh, Jim Beheim's zone was effective for a while without the bigs. Let's see if they can get back at it. Syracuse will open and put the ball in the hands of Scoop Jardine. His turnover with four seconds to go, very, very big. At the end of the half, here's Jardine's jumper in and out, and Ryan Evans grabs it, the 6'6", junior from Phoenix, Arizona. And I think Joseph's a guy that's got to step up a little bit for Syracuse. Let's see if they're as effective. Hit the foul line. Uh, they've got the top of the key jumpers. Pretty good decisions from the middle as well. Jumper Taylor. Wow. Yes! How about that? Kid is a winner. Love watching him play during the course of his career. Toughness, the ability to take big shots. Terrific leader. Senior out of Bloomington, Minnesota, a suburb of Minneapolis. And Wisconsin is 6 of 12 on three-point shots in the ballgame. Joseph. Settle right here. That's two in a row early without running anything. Taylor brings it up. Now, Bo was confident in that interview. We got some good things going, and he was right. Bruzewitz and Bergman both back on the floor. Yeah, Bergman, pretty good target in here, and now nobody on the baseline. Evans was out. Nice move, and one! Uh, he's got some fire going. Well, we've seen him shoot it from there, pass from there, and why not put it on the deck? Nice little job here, getting those feet organized. Solid play, and a chance for three by the big fella. And that is the third foul on Rakeem Christmas. So he heads to the end of the bench, but he cannot escape Jim Beheim. And a chance for the tie. Whoops. Oh, they, oops, I thought they lost it out of bounds there. C.J. Fair did save it. Fair, Trish. Kita is back on the floor, number 12. C.J. Fair, now Jardine. They run a lot of ball screens will pop out out of the stack. And a good open look. That's what they got to run their stuff. There's no quick jacket. Defense is too good, Vern. Chris Joseph extends the lead back to four. Well, this team personifies patience. So well drilled. Don't take bad shots. And they will drain the clock. Oh, they sure do. How about this one? How about this kid? And that is like 25, 26 feet as well. Getting those toes organized. And a one-point game, Taylor has 11. Nice curl again. Job of adjustment in the lane, but it's off of Syracuse. And now, if you're Jim Beheim, you don't mind the last couple of trips because you've been able to run your stuff. Thirty-six, thirty-five. Oh, no, no. 
You know, Bo telling both of us yesterday that he knows Harry Lipwack with his own, Jack Kraft with his own, Jack McClessy from growing up in Philly. Right. He was really confident in being able to attack this. How about this? Another good luck. And a nice job by Fair to bring it down. Here's Jardine, the nice, feed. Nice move. Joseph. Big time crossover step with patience. Avoid the charge. A nice delivery from the week as well. The wing. Gosser. Nice dive and a good read by Fair. Fair jumped in front, has the steal. Now Trish. Nickel timer. Uh, cheapy. How about this three-point display by the Badgers? Well, imagine your zone, they keep moving out, moving out. This is why you got to have a middle game. Evans able to drain them. Uh, they've got a number of people able to convert. Bergen was, has been solid with 10 early in those eight minutes, and just good movement of the basketball, playing with confidence, and they're comfortable late in the shot clock. Short. Rebound, Gosser. Right side, Evans. Nice pass. First foul. Ooh. Oh, they got Keto with the foul. They may have hit him a little bit on the hip level, but pretty good response by the big guy. I think you've got to beat Syracuse down once in a while before they get organized in this defense. That's one of those sequences that they did. And, and the big guy, Jared Bergen, has been playing terrific basketball. Bergen off to a sensational start. Ten points early, early, and then he picked up his second foul had to play only eight minutes of the first half. Masters Live streams exclusive video of Amen Corner 15 and 16 and featured group. For more, go to cbssports.com slash masters and masters.com. Yeah, this team, Wisconsin, all the guys take part in all the drills. So big guys are expected to have dribble moves outside. Little guys are expected to have moves inside. They post up different people. Bergman, a great example of that. Bergman averages 10 per game. He's got 14 wow. already. And how about? He just turns those guy. shoulders, Trish, and just attacks the 10. Trish has 11. Wisconsin, Syracuse, the third meeting ever, as we mentioned, the first back in 1927. Now look at them respond. Were you good that day, by the way? Uh, I, I called play by play on it. Nice ball movement. And there you go. go. And this kid's playing with such confidence now, Wilson. Great to see a kid finishing his career, getting some good results. And we are tied at 40. There's Fair. That's his game. 10 feet around that rim. And the nice thing about Wilson, you know, you heard things while he was in the door. He wasn't in the doghouse for anything off the floor or with the team. He was strictly, you know, not focusing or doing some things that, oh, expected. Well, they have brought back the bounce pass, haven't they? Mm -hmm. uh, Gee whiz. This is so absolutely fundamental. It's great. That one's off the mark. Bear gets on the... Uh, Trampoline, it's off Wisconsin. And take a look at C.J. Fair. He is less than fair. He Right now, he's pretty darn good. A little semi-hook with nylon for the Qs. Chicken and shrimp, or our new blackened chicken pendant. One appetizer, two entrees, 20 bucks. Only at Applebee's. Now serving half price appetizers late night. Lawn gnomes, bird baths, and the competition are officially on notice. Craftsman Turn Tight Tractors, a best in class six inch turning radius, 50% tighter than any other tractor. Craftsman, trust in your hands. Predicting the future is hard, but I have this new smartphone. And now I can see everything more clearly. I can organize the analysis, sort through all the data, maybe even rattle some cages. 
I predict that I'm gonna like the future. Because the future's where I'll be serving up humble pie, a la mode. AT&T introduces the Samsung Galaxy Note. Phone, tablet, both. You can't expect the world to be this quiet. Unless, of course, you're in the all-new Buick Ferrato. Quiet Tune Technology. It's unprecedented and unexpected luxury in a car this size. CBS Sunday. She was poisoned minutes ago at most. A case is toxic. Who paid you to kill her? <laughs> Dirty. Somebody compromised the evidence. And devious as the attorney it brings back to town. Horatio. Malcolm McDowell returns. I thought I told you to stay out of Miami. A new CSI Miami. Sunday only CBS. How about that top line? First time four teams from one state in Sweet 16. Two from Cincinnati, Ohio State, and Ohio Xavier and we're going to see Cincinnati and Ohio State coming up and Clark Kellogg's son Nick mm. a starter for Ohio University. What a thrill for that family. Big East and Big Ten each have four teams left. And uh, we've got a good one brewing here in Boston 42 40 Vern Lundquist Bill Raftery and Leslie Visser. I'm sure that time I was running your stuff. They used to the stack rubs, curls. Nice run out at the end of this. Little pick and roll, and the option goes to CJ. I tell you what, this kid has really stepped up. Uh, you know, Jim Beheim's amazing. I'm sure he just said to that kid, you just keep playing. You'll make those shots. You've, you've made them throughout your career, and he has stepped up magnificently. Well, think about this. In the last four games prior to this evening, Mentioned it again. He was two of 17 from the field mm -hmm. tonight. Five of six. That's your average picking up checks. <laughs> two of 17. Oh, I thought no. <laughs> five of six. <laughs> yeah, this kid has played well, Brigham. And look who's in the right spot too. Jordan. Jordan misses from in close. Well, I like the way they're mixing it up right now, though. A little more activity. What a difference he makes, Jared, on the floor for Bo. And here comes. Syracuse, the lead is four. Largest lead was 10 late in the first half. Trish. Drive and replace. Yeah, pretty good hustle play there by Evans. Yep. You know, my backcourt mate at LaSalle, Tony Abbott, was from Chester. Knew Bo's dad. Bo's dad coached him as kids. But there was a toughness about that city that Bo has. And I think he's taken it to the Midwest and just done an extraordinary job on both levels of college basketball. He's a winner. He gets his kids to buy in. He said all of his philosophy is the conglomeration of things from different people he's been at clinics with or coached with or been exposed to. Not one particular guy. Very remarkable run. In Madison, this is 11th year, but also at the University of Wisconsin. Blackville, not and good. that extends the lead to six. Not good containment as the scoops rain down. Rust is on the floor for the Badgers, number one. And Bergeron, by the way, is resting. Here's Evans. A better job getting the ball out of that trap situation. And look at this terrific reaction with the white shirts way outside. Pump and a foul on Keita. Nice job by Wilson getting in the right spot. Nice reading. You can get in there an offensive rebound. That's part of your arsenal against the Syracuse team. Uh, there's not the body contact to checking out. Wilson shoots two. Sunday, travel the world on a new amazing race. Only CBS. Great the impact that the Boys and Girls Club in Cleveland has had in his life right now. He's taking it to Madison. Yes, he's an intern with the Madison Boys and Girls Club, a very worthy organization. 
It affected his life as a young man in a single parent family. And uh, he will graduate, become the first college graduate in the family and intends to devote his professional adult life to working with young boys and girls. Getting a lot more out of it than just the basketball and playing well down the stretch as Joseph, probably their best one-on-one -on -one guy. Now, Wheeler's is good. Uh, this guy can really mix it up as well. That's some strength. On the inbounds play, Waiters is back on the floor. Waiters and Jardine, along with C.J. Fair, Keita. Christmas on the bench with three fouls. We go to his left oh hand. Oh, my goodness. Well, it's all, you've got to take that left hand away on that bounce. That's a scouting report. Force him to go baseline. Just lead them to the 10. This has got to be a good one now for Wisconsin. Into the corner. There's the bounce pass back outside. Whoa, my goodness. Well, they just challenge and get out. Three on the shot clock. The floater is going to be short. Tipped. Syracuse has it. C.J. Fair again. Big possession here. Nice pass. Oh, nice hands. The redhead. Bruzewitz. Bruzewitz in the right spot. That was a big possession that he saved. They Evans, take, there's they, the cut. They take away the vision. They're so big, too. You can't go cross court, and it's open for a flash. Ten on the shot clock. Whipped in the corner. Oh, he lost it. And that's the fear of the closeout, the challenge on the defensive end. That's the sixth Wisconsin turnover. What? You got a dog? Yeah, he's a rescue dog. Name's Wego. What kind of name is that? Call him. Here we go. No. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Thank you. Here we go. It's the sure sign of a good time. It's just right taste of Bud Light. Here we go. When you have cable and can't record all your shows, you feel unhappy. When you feel unhappy, you go to happy hour. When you go to happy hour, you're up for anything. When you're up for anything, you head to a Turkish bathhouse. When you head to a Turkish bathhouse, you meet Charlie Sheen. And when you meet Charlie Sheen, you reenact scenes from Platoon with Charlie Sheen. Don't reenact scenes from Platoon with Charlie Sheen. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. This is the sound of my soul. This is the sound. You feel that? No. The ESS is working right now. That's Spandau Ballet, man. You did this all the way to the restaurant. Yeah, we were going uphill. Getting extra horsepower from a battery-powered generator. It's helping us conserve fuel. Support. The all new 37 MPG Highway Chevy Malibu Eco. From new technology to old friends, Chevy runs deep. 21 Jump Street is the number one movie in America. Booyah! You won't see a funnier comedy this year. I know, right? This guy loves it. They'll have you laughing until it hurts. When did I get stabbed? That's awesome! Yeah! 21 Jump Street, rated R. Open up Pizza Hut's new $10 dinner box. All your favorites, all in one place. A medium one-topping pizza, freshly baked breadsticks, and cinnamon sticks. Plus, marinara and sweet icing for dipping. Best of all, the $10 dinner box is only $10, and only at your Pizza Hut. Don't use girls the dandruff. Use Axe Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. Lose the flakes. Get to the girls. 
Uh, burned 889 wins, and this is the reason. Take a look at this. Evans just opens up enough to help, and he pays for it, and then the ability to get in here with the left. You never get in position to take it away just because of the deployment. 889. The guy knows what he's doing over there. <laughs> Mr. Warmth. Oh, he goodness. lights up in the gym. Well, Jim Beheim and the Orange have had a very tumultuous season. We mentioned it. The allegations of sexual molestation leveled against assistant Bernie Fine in November. He was fired. There were allegations of a violation of a drug policy by former players at Syracuse. And then the twice suspended Fab Mello and through it all, the Orange jumped out of the gate and won their first 20. They've only lost two this year. How about this That's kid? huge. Yeah, yeah, he just a nice bow, a little screen and pop. Did that in the first half. And getting back to Jim Baham for a moment, for he just kept coaching through all of this, you right. know, and his kids just came to the gym and kept playing. Took care of their business. Taylor went for the steal. Here's Waiters. And the margin is only four. 48-44. Tipped. Badger ball. Thrust. He's got Taylor open left wing. Gonna get down early. Oh, nothing there. Rust for three. That sets it up, though, by pushing the ball down. You've got the defense countering, not the right position. Even though your philosophy is to run the offense, occasionally you got to beat him down. A brush thrust for three. Express. It says a lot about you. In a deep, hemi rumble sort of way. Guts, glory, ram. your home this spring with Lowe's Creative Ideas magazine. Inspiration on every page. Now available free for iPad on the App Store. Lowe's, never stop improving. What oh, is smiling? I think they want us to come and find them. It's a star map. No, not a map. An invitation. For whom? Prometheus has landed. If you're going down there, you're going to die. From the director of Alien, Blade Runner, Gladiator. This summer, the search for our beginning could lead to our end. Prometheus. This film is not yet rated. This Italian BMT is amazing. Like I'm in Italy. Who's talking to me? They're never talking to you. What? Never. Get to Subway Pronto for our fresh takes on Italian, like the Delizioso Italian BMT and the Molto Bono Chicken Parmesan. Subway, eat fresh. Vern, this is normally a pick and pop, but the overzealous defense and too high out for an exchange really cost her in no man's land out there. And I just love getting down the floor real early, even if you don't do anything. Good judgment here. The dive man isn't free. Bring it back out and look at Brust. You've got them scrambling on the defensive end. You've got to take advantage whenever possible against this intricate zone D. The Badgers are 10 of 18 from three point range. 10 of their 16 field goals from beyond the arc. We came on the air at 10 minutes after 7 Eastern with a panel of five 
three-point shooters, how significant Ooh. have they been? Well, that's why we're with the pros, Mark Wolf huh. and huh. Suzanne Smith. They're the ones that decided it. Well, this is tough for the challenge, but nevertheless. No, no, no. Nothing to it. to the do. Nothing to it. Oh, look at the smile, too. <laughs> Antonio. We heard Ernie find out that name for us, by the way. He said he likes Scoop. Jardine has 12. Wisconsin. Wisconsin, the guy that makes some really good decisions, whether it's popping out as he is now or flashing and sliding. And the shot clock at five. Taylor, tough jumper. Shot. Really wow. tough. Under duress. And he's hopping back. He's got a little scoop in his step, too. Gee, that was tough. He's four of six on three-pointers. What a nice play by Scoop Keita with a good read and slip to the ten, big fella. Taylor and Jardine, 11 on 11. Of course, the Waiters is out there to help, and here comes Gosser. And as the numbers get higher, I think it favors Syracuse. Well, in the 50s. Yeah, we thought this yeah, might this be in the range of the final. And we've still got 8.39 to go. Nice pass. Nice ball will be done. Oh, yeah. yeah. How about that? The two backcourt guys, Gosser, Brusk, finding them beautiful. They got playing small. Torrid shooting from three-point range by Wisconsin. We're tied for the fourth time. Tough shot. Keita. Rebound. Put back. No. Wisconsin has a chance to regain the lead. And look at the pin in the lane. Bergman does so many nice things out there. What a good target he is, too. Nice. Into the corner, bust. They're unconscious. They're also getting good looks. The toughest one was the top of the key for Taylor. Timeout, Syracuse. Uh, whatever you need, Bergman's able to find terrific look and conversion. What we created here. What we achieved here. What we learned here. And what we pioneered here. All goes here. The One. The Accord. Smarter thinking from Honda. Check the second line. 13 of 21. That is the most three-point, successful three-pointers Syracuse has given up this year. 14 assists to five. Mm. A 15 to five Wisconsin run. All 15 of those points from beyond the arc. And you talk about being prepared, and that guy had his team. He was smiling, talking to Leslie because he liked what they did because the big guy's getting foul trouble just decimated his attack. They're back and healthy. Oh, that was a message and a goal. And that is C.J. Fair. What a game. He is playing. Bo is furious. He's got to be careful. He wants a charge on the other end, but... You miss it, but the weak side available. Fair, a little kiss for the kiss. You guys are here for the reunion, huh? Guys, you made it. What about Stifler? On April 6th. Morning, co-workers. Better be working hard. You weren't hired for your looks. Actually, you were. <laughs> Not you. Treat yourself. Yeah. I say we keep this party going. We'll be just like old times. This is you, right? Oh. I swear I had these all taken down. Father, my child. Do the best slice of pie yet. Have a shot. I don't think so, Steven. Drink it. Drink None it. Drink it. Hey, Jim, your dad's so much cooler than you. American Reunion. Rated R. Miller time. It starts with brothers. Not the ones who share your DNA. The ones you choose. The ones who haven't called you by your real name in years. Who know the full story behind a broken bone, an ill-advised tattoo, or why you have a weakness for women named Jennifer. Add a round of Miller Lite. And you've got Miller time. 
because everything's better over a great beer. A light beer that's never light on taste. It's not just a good time, it's Miller time. PGA Tour 13, now on Connect. Better bring your swing. Rated E for everyone. EA Sports. It's in the game. Better with Connect for Xbox 360. They see me rolling. They hating. Patrolling and trying to catch me riding dirty. 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 Hi there. Why do we always have to take your mom's car? The security of a Tiguan, one of nine Volkswagen models named the 2012 IIHS top safety pick. Hey, Blake, what are you going to do if you win an ACM award? Mm, probably party till dawn and make some really bad decisions. What if you don't win? Pretend I won. The ACM's live CBS April 1st. Score one for the home team. We have a winner. Thanks for making CBS America's most watched network. <laughs> Beautiful city of Boston. This is the new Boston Garden. Opened in what was the parking lot area of the old and historic Boston Garden. Inside this uh, full house is seeing quite some game. And unbelievable the job that Wisconsin's done getting the threes because of deployment. I think Syracuse now has to match up a little better. They got to match up on the foul line. They may have to go under any ball screen. They've got to do a much better job exchanging on the wing because right now, Bo's got his way with terrific offense. And we are tied. The most significant element of that last call was that it was Bruzewitz's third foul. He's on the bench. Bergman is still on the floor. Keith is moving up a little bit more. I tell you, this small lineup has done a great job. That's the other. The terrific deep shooters. Ryan Evans. Nice cut by Jordan. Into the corner, brushed. Fair does a good job of getting out. Wow. Shot clock. Is he on fire? I mean, he's just giving it to Michael Jordan there with the flop of the hands. Five of seven from three point range for Jordan Taylor. Here's Jardine. It's that same play, that drive and replace. This time Joseph has an angle. Keita gets the rebound, puts it up and in. This is the end that's killing Syracuse right now, the defensive end. And look how high they're playing people, and yet the overload has been killing them. One of the little guys goes down and through as Jordan is, and then pops out, and they haven't communicated it very well. Back Look outside this. Evans for three. Now he's only made 10 all year. He shoots 25%, but he sank one earlier. He's one of the six Wisconsin Badgers. Oh, what a move! Ooh, a little lingerie on the deck. He does a great job drop stepping. Now you really got to anticipate it in scouting and step in, and when he turns, picked up that charge. Ten lead changes. Taylor, five of seven. Uh, and Nickel Dimer on scoop, I Yes, day. it was. Well, you've been at the laundromat a few times in your life. This is what it looks like, huh? Drop step and great collection of the body. What balance on the big guy. What a disadvantage. It's just not quite the mobility. Devastating move. Foul was on Keita. There's a... Uh, Look at the points in the paint. Mm. Oh. A lot of it on dribble drives, too, yes. you know, not post-ups. They got to stay at home on this guy. Jordan Taylor has been alarming with his shooting.
Maybe Evans could do some damage on some offensive rebounding. Bergen. Gosser. Jardine out quickly. A better exchange the last couple of times. Shot clock at eight. Jumper, Gosser. Oh, and look at Key to get up and get the rebound. Major catch. Well, they had hit six in a row before they missed the last two threes. Well, Jim Beheim's a believer. You can't keep making it, but Wisconsin has been able to. Waiters pull up jumper. Step back. That's how good he is. What confidence, huh? Game's easy for him. Had a troubled first year out of Philadelphia. Thought about moving on. Decided to come back with Beheim's ultimately mm -hmm. his blessing i think his mom had a big influence too saying hey this is not easy times always and now he's been helpful with the younger players at syracuse who aren't getting much time trap on the base out of bounds time out badgers call time look at this pull-up jumper dion waiters At a big company, new ideas don't usually come from the local store level, but a great idea can come from anywhere. I'm Brian Edler, and I created the new Domino's Parmesan Bread Bites. They're freshly baked pieces of bread with garlic and Parmesan. The test kitchens the Domino's haven't come up with this, but the guy in Finley, Ohio did. That's what's awesome about this. You know, I think Brian should be the CEO of Domino's. <laughs> no. Get 16 Parmesan Bread Bites for just a dollar when you order two medium two-topping pizzas for $5.99 each. Share your ideas at thinkoven.com. The NCAA Division I Women's Basketball Championship continues Saturday on ESPN with regional semifinal action as Tennessee battles Kansas. Coverage begins at noon Eastern. For more information on the Women's Championship, go to NCAA.com. And with 10 seconds, watch Syracuse step up here. They're going to really try and tighten it on the outside. Evans, pump fake. Oh, go. my goodness. And that's all because of recognition. They were out, not giving up the three. A terrific spot on that elbow for Evans. Four minutes to go. Winner goes to the Elite Eight. Have a chance to go to the Final Four. Wisconsin's last trip there was in 2000. And the foul is called on Bergren. Look at Bo Ryan. And he's a plug. He's got to be careful. That Sarkez down there. He is livid over the last block charges. It's called on Evans. What if you had thermal night vision goggles, like in a special ops mission? You'd spot movement, gather intelligence with minimal collateral damage. But rather than neutralizing enemies in their sleep, you'd be targeting stocks to trade. Well, that's what trade architects heat maps do. They make you a trading assassin. Trade Architect, TD Ameritrade's empowering web-based trading platform. Trade commission-free for 60 days, and we'll throw in up to $600 when you open an account. San Diego State, football. Nebraska, baseball. USC, soccer. At Enterprise Rent-A-Car, we hire more new college graduates every year than any other company. And many of us played college sports, too. Like me. Like me. And me. Now we're all on the same team. Yours. Enterprise is proud to be an official corporate partner of the NCAA. <laughs> Teamwork. Let us show you what that means. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Which month would I lose to get more March? More of this? January? should I get? Definitely something with four doors. Clean or used? Clean or used. It's gotta be black. Now compare new and used cars and even special offers side by side. Now that's a good deal. So when you find the right car, that's the one. There won't be any doubt in your mind. Autotrader.com, the ultimate automotive marketplace. Here are my orders of the day. Keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. In essence, just stand there. She's going into labor. Now 
the other rookies do today? Worse. Greg Gumbel in New York with a tournament update for you. Over on TBS in Phoenix, Louisville's Kyle Keurig, his only bucket of the game. And the Cardinals lead Michigan State 27-23, 16 minutes to play, second half. Vern and Raft. All right, Greg, thank you. The winner of that one goes into Saturday's game against either Marquette or Florida. Here, Wisconsin making its first trip ever, by the way, to the city of Boston to play basketball. Mm -hmm. And, of course, one of his idols growing up uh, was... Bob Cousy. And, and he is on the committee that selects yeah. the Cousy, Cousy winner. And, and, you know, he's very excitable on the sideline, and it's not going to do him any good, and he's fortunate he hasn't gotten the technical. Uh, a couple of those block charges didn't go his way, and fortunately he camouflaged it in front of his team. Pretty frustrating out of the gate with Bruce getting those early ones and arresting him still. Jardine shoots two. This kid's amazing. Not a great free throw shooter, but he just seems to make him 54%, but he makes him coming down the stretch. How about that? Ooh, it's amazing. First time at the line, he cans them both. He's got 14, and the lead is three with 3.45 to go. This is where Bruzewitz can do some damage, excuse me, Berger can do some damage because they're really playing. They don't want a three right now. There's the entry pass back outside. Taylor. I like to see him go and take his guy right there in the middle. He is playing with three fouls. Look at this kid. This one, no. Go the other way. Yep. Berger went down hard. Yeah, it's his foul. He went right over the back. And Bo, again, upset. Uh, you'll see him come in right here. You see that little discard with his hip, and that's number three, Vern? Yes. 64, 61, 322 to go. Team fouls, you see, five and four. Remarkably well played game, and the turnovers. Six to five. Wisconsin's turned it over six. Nice defense by Teller. He thinks he got fouled, but what a great play. The body search and Erdring gives ground and gets some help from the guard. Solid. The circus only turns it over ten times a game, and right. they turn it nine, so it's pretty solid basketball, too. Well-coached teams. Joseph goes right. Mm. Old Fair wasn't quite ready for it. And now the turnovers are six and six. Three minutes to go. Maybe get Evans to flash a little bit now. Put Bergman down on the baseline. He can swing to the corner on that slow exchange. Rust and Taylor along with Bergman, Evans, and Rob Wilson. So you've got to take that ball to make two guys play you. Short, nice rebound hustle. offense. That's the one time you get that three, but great reaction defensively by the Cuse. The little horns look here. Two guys high in the elbows. Two fifteen remaining. Ten on the shot clock. Taylor. He's open. Got it. Challenge. No. Wow. And a huge rebound, huge rebound. <laughs> C.J. Fair. Big time snatch. Going up with the bigs. This is a play they love to run. They go a high low out of this. One rolls to the rim, and they get a double on the other side on this one. 142 to go. Jumper, waiters, no. Nice job by Cross, too. Ball is on the floor. They got Keita, I think, would be number four. Was it? Yeah, I think so. Number four, if it was him. It was, and it is. And Christmas is on the bench, has been for a while with three, and a reminder, of course, of the absence of the suspended Fab Mello. Mm -hmm. uh, rebounding. Very big right now for both clubs.
Watch Jordan. This is where he's tough, I think. They can get him on the foul line. He can really do some damage. Gots are down on the baseline. Ten on the shot clock again. 65 seconds to go. Going to be a tough challenge shot. Uh, they got the foul. Oh, but Beheim beside himself. They're going to give it, I believe, to Jardine. Yes. That's only the sixth team foul. And right here, that's one of those inadvertent. Wow. Goodness. Well, can't blame them. One minute to go. Foul in that league. The shot clock's a killer, though. Three seconds remaining in that shot clock possession. 50 seconds remaining. So they're really forced to take a lot of time and not getting good looks of late. Hugging the three-point line. Back to Taylor. Way outside. Waiters has him. Five on the shot clock. Nice ball move. Baseline. Number five. Kata's out of the game. They're given a one and one for her. Given that opportunity versus the layup, he just never could get there. But this is just great ball movement around the perimeter, around the horn, and the big guy just couldn't close the deal on the baseline. And right now, Jim Bayham's going to steal 20 if he can. A free timeout. Is he, he going to go with Christmas? Now, you've got to do a lot of things if you're Wisconsin. You've got to talk making the two, exactly what you want to do, if you want to give it, when you want to give it, do you want to trap. All the things that have worked on every day. And it'll probably go small, leave one guy in the back, big. Gosser's going to be at the line, shooting one and one. 78% shooter. Tough kid had that stomach problem, still able to play. Yeah, in their That's, win yeah. against Vanderbilt, yeah. he uh, had a stomach problem that kept him awake for all but about two hours. They played John Jenkins well. I think he was three for 13 in that game. Gosser, two of three from the line tonight. One and one. If you love when kids are able to do that, step up, stroke it. A lot of years of doing it. Jardine would be the guy you'd like to give it to because of percentage, but as noted, very good down the stretch if they decide. Smooth as can be. And they got Trish coming in late, and they go small. Timeout called the Wisconsin Badgers. 31.7 remaining. Today, we stand against the tyranny of media travel gods. Battle speech, right? <gasps> May I? Capital One is issuing a Venture Double Miles Challenge. Show us how much you spent last year, and we'll give you two miles for every dollar spent on your travel reward card, up to 100,000 miles! Hawaii, here we come. Claim your miles at CapitalOne.com today! What's in your wallet? Can you play games on that? Not on the runway. Oh. Badgers have the possession arrow. They have one timeout remaining. Five team fouls, Syracuse with two timeouts to go. And Syracuse does have the ball. What do you expect here? Well, a, a big on the ball first, I would expect. Uh, they were playing small to match up with the small. Try deny, try to get a five second call. Looks like Wilson on the ball. Bergman back. On the, flare, uh, on the floor, rather, Jardine. Fair will inbound. Trish is out there. Christmas and, and I would foul Jardine if I had the choice only because of the percentage go with them This is where Trish becomes very important. He's quick to the ball And so CJ fair Oh, it's tipped fair saves it. That's the guy move the, Jardine. Move, the, move the ball Joseph has it now Oh, they almost came up with it, but they had to foul. Wow, a couple of near misses for the Q said pretty good reaction by the Badgers. 22.8 to go. Now Trish will inbound.
But Jim Beheim gets the uh, timeout. Timeout. And the timeout called by Syracuse with 20.1 remaining I think they wanted to give that foul in the backcourt with that one to give don't you yes all right if you're Bo so, Ryan what do you the big thing for Syracuse is getting it in so I, I would really do a a pretty good job any screen I would switch it uh, anybody popping back you might get a play where you can jump into the passing lane I, I would think you could get a back screen and somebody going to the rim for Syracuse that man stepping out to catch the basketball so uh, that's got to be pretty good organization defensively. The Badgers played their first two round games in Albuquerque prevail over Vanderbilt Syracuse of course had that tough test against the 16th seed UNC Asheville and boy have they had their hands full tonight. Ooh. 20.1 to go. The Orange lead by one. Ooh, good giveaway. Oh for right if it you're going to foul him, uh, he took everything but the wallet. <laughs> and that was interesting. Uh, Jim Beheim, as we noted, having been involved in so many tough situations, opted for Joseph alone down on the baseline to jab and then recover, knowing he could get a nice passing lane and wouldn't gamble outside for that passing lane steal. Joseph, one and one. You see, he's got a. 75% free throw average for the year. One and one. No. Loose ball. Got a jump ball. Wisconsin ball. Wow. How about that hustle? And who's down there? We talked about tough kid, Gasser, and they are tiny up front, but not tiny with the ticker. And Jordan is well in there. And so we've got 15.5 remaining. Gasser. Here comes Taylor. Jardine out on him. 10 seconds to go. Should be able to get something at the foul line. Turn and go. Jumper with two seconds to go. No. In the air. No again. Syracuse hangs on. Barely. Sequence. Uh, the strategy was to stay up as tight as you can and the magic at the end not quite there for Jordan Taylor. Oh goodness the kid played so well did not get a perfectly clean look never got really turned around but the aggressive D by the Qs on the perimeter a big time factor in that miss. Well you are right about escape. What an effort by those kids Ooh, leaving it all out there what a game and Jim Beheim looks remarkably relieved and that three-quarter turnaround just never got those shoulders square Ooh. wow a sigh of relief for the Qs Top seeded Syracuse Orangemen advance and heartbreak for the Badgers. Oh, what a sense of relief. 64 63. Syracuse withstands the barrage of three point efforts. They really extended their defense in the last couple of minutes and denied the three point shot of Jordan Taylor that would have won the game for the Badgers of Wisconsin. And Billy Raftery is out on the court with Jim Beheim. Uh, 
Coach, uh, congratulations. What an effort by Wisconsin as well as you. One of the great games you've been involved in. That's the best game I've seen in a long time. It might be one of the best games we've ever played. On offense, we were great. I thought defensively we played good, and they made 14 threes. Every time we left them just a little open, they made it. When somebody makes 14 threes against us, we usually don't win, but uh, we'll, we'll take it. We played great, though. And, uh, Wisconsin, I knew they were good, but I didn't know they were this good. They are really, really good. How about the changes at halftime for you in terms of coverage? What would you say to the kids? The end of the first half was bad for us. We should have gone in with a 10-point lead. We made a bad foul, bad turnover, and they jumped right on us to start the second half. But our kids played great. Uh, I, can't, I can't tell you how good it feels to win a game like this was a great game. Congratulations, Jimmy. Yeah, heck of an effort. Uh, individually, you did some good things. Did you think you could take over a little bit? Yeah, I knew it. Uh, the way they were playing us, and that's my style of basketball, uh, the pick and roll. And uh, they gave me a lot of great chances and a lot of great looks on the shot, so all I had to do was knock them down. How hard is the zone? Everybody thinks the old zone, you just stand still. You guys were, had to be aggressive on the uh, three-point shot, particularly. Uh, you know, the zone is different with us. There's a lot of areas that we have to cover. And uh, I think we did a great job in the first half. But, you know, that's a great shooting team. They came out in the second half and was able to knock shots down, but we was able to pull out the win. Congratulations. Great right, effort. Man, thanks. Appreciate it. Well, that was breathtaking. 64-63. Syracuse wins it. Turn to TBS now from Michigan State and Louisville. Coming up on CBS, Ohio State, Cincinnati. We'll send you to our studio after these messages. This is the sound of my soul. This is the sound. You feel that? No. The ESS is working right now. That's Spandau Ballet, man. You did this all the way to the restaurant. Yeah, we were going uphill. Get an extra horsepower from a battery powered generator. <laughs> It's helping us conserve fuel. This is important. The all-new 37 MPG Highway Chevy Malibu Eco. From new technology to old friends, Chevy runs deep. NCAA student-athletes, and just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. One tribe. One big happy family. One big mess. This is not poop. It's dirt. You don't want to tend the fire? New Survivor, CBS Wednesday. Well, the green jacket means that you're part of history. It's a symbol of excellence here at Augusta National. It is one of the greatest things that can happen in a golfer's lifetime. It's Country Music's Party of the Year, the ACM Awards, CBS April 1st. Shuffling. The crowds are getting bigger at Toyota's number one for everyone sales event. People know it's a great time to save on our best-selling cars, like Camry, the number one selling car in America, and Corolla, a 2012 IIHS top safety pick. Come check out all our amazing deals today. Everyone else is. Get a new 2012 RAV4 with 0.9 for 60 months or $1,000 cash back. Or choose 0.9 for $1,000 back on a new 2012 Highlander or 2012 Sienna. Hurry in. It's the one event you don't want to miss. We're talking SUVs in Northeast Ohio. Let's talk Explorer. It's an American-made vehicle. We like our power. My Ford Explorer has a very good uh, four-wheel drive component in the Cleveland streets, and the Cleveland weather is excellent. The inside interior is a really nice luxury feel to it. I really like the Ford Explorer for a combination off-road, on-road, and luxury components. The auto show is over, but $1,000 bonus cash is still here. Lease an Explorer for just $3.29 a month. Ford, in my book, is number one. Get great savings and are double the difference back. Guaranteed.
Jumper with two seconds to go. No, in the air, no again. Syracuse hangs on. Barely. Syracuse hangs on indeed. The top seed in the East moves on by one. Escaping fourth seed Wisconsin, 64-63 is the final score in Boston. Welcome back to our studios here in New York, everyone. Greg Gumbel along with Greg Anthony, Kenny Smith, Charles Barkley. If you thought Roger Goodell came down hard on the Saints, <laughs> we'll hear how these guys come down on that last Wisconsin possession. But first, let me remind you that still to come here on CBS, tipping at 946 Eastern time, the number two seed in the East, Ohio State, the Buckeyes will take on the Cincinnati Bearcats. Let's go back to that game just completed. And what happened to the Badgers? They're, they're, they're a better coach team than that. Well, they're well coached. I was thinking about and going through my mind what, what happened. I, I think for me what happened was Bo Ryan trusted his senior to make a good decision down the stretch. 15 seconds left. That's a lot of time for you to have an opportunity to get a good look. But keep in mind, this ball never got below the free throw line. And, and maybe at seven, eight seconds, you think about calling a timeout. But that's such a difficult situation. Tough way to lose for Wisconsin. I don't know that they could have played any better with the exception of their last possession. Yeah, the last possession was something, you know, that you would want better. But I just thought two things took over. Nerves and lack of ball handling ability. Great shooters on Wisconsin, but not great ball handlers. So if you look at Syracuse, every time they got a shot off of penetration. So even though they were hitting threes, you had Scoop Jardine, you had Trish early in the game, and obviously Deion Wade is driving in. So when they kicked it out, it was a lot of threes from that area. But when Wisconsin, when Wisconsin gets their threes from Jordan Taylor, or they get their threes from Jared Begren, they, those threes come from passing not dribble, uh, dribble penetration. So when you can't make a play down the stretch, and that's what it comes to, off the pass, not off the bounce, not off the penetration. This guy gets into the lane, Deion Waiters, and makes penetration happen. That's the difference here. Pass the ball, move it, pass it, move it. Oh, we can't get a shot off, and there's the difference. You know, let me ask you guys, Wisconsin was 14 of 27 from the three-point line. When it comes down to needing less than that, does that hurt them in the long not run? Not about, see, it comes, it's, it's going to come two possessions, and Charles can kind of reiterate this if he likes. Where you, you don't have to call a play to get a shot. You have to make a play to get a shot. Don't call it. Three's not going to work. The three play that you've been running is not going to work. You have to make a basketball play, and Syracuse has basketball players who can make plays. Well, it, I thought exactly everything happened tonight. I thought what happened. I thought Wisconsin, they had a perfect game plan. They moved the ball. You can't move bodies as fast as you can move the ball. They got a great shot pretty much every time down the court. Did they make more threes than normal do? Of course they did. But against the zone, number one, they put a man at the high post because Syracuse extended their zone. And they got a good shot. They just kind of they got nervous and panicked. I'm not sure if they had any timeout. Uh, he would have called the timeout with four or five seconds ago. He should have. Because you could see when those two guys came toward him and he passed the ball, they were in trouble at that point. You know and, what? And to pick it back on what Kenny says, it's easy to get shots against the zone when you're moving it. But they didn't have anybody who could just say, here's the ball, go get it. Well, that's a great point. It's funny. They shoot 53 from three. But the, to your point, they didn't have shot makers or playmakers because they're only 7 to 22 from two. So that tells you that they don't really have the ability to create and facilitate for themselves. It has to come from their offense. And the problem is for you at the end of games, oftentimes your offense won't be able to get you a shot. you got to have somebody with the ability to make the play. And that's the difference in this game. The two, it's rare you say this, but the two beat the three tonight because Syracuse's ability to get two-point shots at will. They had so many playmakers offensively who could get to the rim and make a two, and that's what hurt them. Like, Wisconsin typically doesn't have a team shoot 56% from the field against them because typically the, the pace they play disrupts your rhythm. Didn't disrupt Syracuse. I don't think Jim Behan gets enough credit offensively for putting his guys in positions to be able to attack where there's space. You know, he does a great job of creating space on the floor for his one-on-one -on -one players to attack. That's why you don't see him turn it over a lot, and they don't get a lot of charges. Yeah, but in fairness, let's get other coach credit, because Beheim got all these terrific players. 
Syracuse got a bunch of kids who can play, but they aren't like overly talented. For him to make this a game, it shows what, it, right. it shows what a great coach Coach Ryan is, and he does this year in, year out. It's easy, not easy, but when you got better players, <laughs> you feel good driving to the game. But they played <laughs> pretty much as well as they could play. <laughs> uh, they played a pretty much perfect game, except that except last one. You just play. want to get a good shot, and they did not do that. Bottom line, Syracuse wins at 64-63. They will play on Saturday, the winner of the Ohio State-Cincinnati game still to come. Meanwhile, game going on in Phoenix. Louisville with a 42-33 lead over on TBS. Seven and a half minutes to play. The top seeded Michigan State Spartans having a problem right now. We'll keep you updated. We'll take a timeout and come back to New York with more after this. Hello? Hello, Todd. Just calling to let you know I'm giving you the silent treatment. So you're calling to tell me you're giving me the silent treatment? Um, yeah. Jen, this is like the eighth time no, you've called. It's fine. My family has free unlimited mobile to any mobile minutes. I can call all I want. I don't think you understand how the silent treatment works. Hello? Buy unlimited messaging and get free unlimited calling to any mobile phone on any network. AT&T. Creating a financial safety net can seem like an impossible goal. Complicated, intimidating, something other people get to do. But once you take the first step, you'll find there's nothing standing in your way. MetLife. I can do this. Last year, Taco Bell released the Taco Supreme with a shell made of real nacho cheese Doritos in a few cities, none of which were anywhere near the hometown of Nat Christiana. So, Nat drove his friends 965 miles to get it. Well played, Nat. The new Doritos Locos Tacos. Now in Taco Bells everywhere. Sometimes you gotta live mas. Wanna spend less and retire with more? then don't get nickel and dimed by high-cost investments and annoying account fees. At E-Trade, our free, easy-to-use online tools and experienced retirement specialists can help you build a personalized plan. And with our no-annual-fee IRAs and a wide range of low-cost investments, you can execute the plan you want at a low cost. So meet with us or go to eTrade.com for a great retirement plan with low-cost investments. Welcome back, everyone. We remind you, tomorrow evening at 6 Eastern Time, get a head start on your tournament viewing with Infinity NCAA tip-off on TBS. Coming up here on CBS, tipping at 9.46 Eastern Time, will be the second game in Boston between 6th seed Cincinnati and number 2 seed Ohio State. And a bit later, over on TBS, it'll be West Region action. Number 7 Florida's Gators going against the 3rd seed Golden Eagles of Marquette. The game in progress right now between Louisville and Michigan State as we check in on that game. And uh, this has not been the game that everybody expected here. Well, it's been con highly contested, but it's just not been very efficient offensively. Both teams have just been horrific in terms of their ability. These are the highlights, folks, so focus real closely here because there haven't been a lot of baskets going, or balls going through the basket. But give uh, Louisville a lot of credit. They've been able to control that defensive backboard in a game where Michigan State's only made nine field goals. They have not been able to hurt them on the offensive glass. So give Coach Rick Pitino. There's a reason why he's undefeated in the Sweet 16 games. He's got four or five days to prepare for how he wants to attack. And right now his team executing to a T. Yeah, but if, you, but if you look at the stats, um, Michigan State got 13 turnovers. That's different in the game. We always talk about when you play Louisville, Number one, they live and die with threes, but also they live on their ability to turn you over. They have 13 turnovers already in this game Michigan State has. So that, that to me, is the difference in the game. If they're both struggling offensively, the turnovers are the key to the game. This is a live look at the action taking place right now on TBS as they come up on four minutes to play and Louisville holding a 46 to 38 lead and this has not been a very Spartan like performance at least what we've used what we've come to, to, to get used to. Well they're a physical team and they can't get baskets inside. The only one who can get baskets inside has been Draymond Green. 
No one else has been able to be efficient in there, you know, and, and, and put the bodies on Louisville and let them know that they're in a dog fight yeah, in but, that regard. Because Louisville actually is getting the looks that they want that at times they just haven't converted the looks. But physicality is where Michigan State has to win. And they have not imposed that battle onto this game yet. Greg, the one uh, thing that Rick Pitino teams always do, they play great defense. That's the one of the reasons they got to so many turns. But you, they guard you. You don't get a lot of easy looks. They put tremendous pressure on your guards. And if you don't take care of the ball, you're not going to beat Louisville. Well, this game now ducks under the four-minute mark, and it is still a 46-38 lead for Louisville. Michigan State needs to get hot in a hurry if they intend to move on. We will take a timeout, and we will continue. Hear from Bo Ryan. His team came up a point shy against Syracuse tonight. Welcome to Transamerica, where together we're transforming tomorrow. Your husband put this all together when Emma was born. He was an amazing man. This is for you. It's all paid off. And this is for Emma. <laughs> so where do you think she'll go?